Okay, we're finishing up section 1-5. Um, we did half of it already. That was saved as part 1. Part 2, we'll go ahead and complete. Um, the first thing we have are two vocabulary words, linear pair and vertical angles. So two adjacent angles are a linear pair if their non-common sides are opposite rays. Okay? Um, the angles in a linear pair are supplementary angles. Supplementary, supplementary, that means the sum of those two angles is 180. So let's look at this non-common side. I have a linear pair right here. This is the common side. The non-common side is right here. Angle 1, here's my non-common side. Angle 2, here's my non-common side. Um, they are opposite rays. Vertical angles. Two angles are vertical angles if their sides form two pairs of opposite rays. Two angles are vertical angles if their opposite, sorry, two angles are vertical angles if their sides form two pairs of opposite rays. Let's look at three and six. Here's three, here's six. They are vertical angles because their sides, here's a side of three, here's a side of six. It's an opposite ray. A side of three, a side of six. It's an opposite ray. Okay, vertical angles are across from each other. Same with four and five, opposite side, sorry. If they're sides, for two pairs of opposite rays. So all of these sides form two pairs of opposite rays. First example, identify all the linear pairs and all of the vertical angles in the figure at the right. So first of all, to, um, to find vertical angles, we're going to look for angles formed by intersecting lines. Okay, intersecting lines. So like this line and this line intersect. Okay, so I have the angles formed by those intersecting lines. Intersecting lines, angles formed by them. So I have angle 1 and angle 5 are vertical angles. Okay, now we're going to look for linear pairs. We're looking for adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Say that again, we're looking for adjacent angles, angles next to each other, whose non-common sides are opposite rays. So I have angle 1 and 4. They're adjacent because they're next to each other and their non-common sides for an op form opposite rays. So I have angle 1 and angle 4 are linear pairs. And let me say this, um, if you look at that word linear pairs, you can think that these adjacent angles, when um, these adjacent angles form a line, their non-opposite side forms a line. So they're next to each other and their non-common, non sorry, non-common side forms a line. Let's find another pair though. Okay, here I have a line and four and five. Their non-common side form opposite rays. So angle four, oops, that's in red, sorry. And angle five are linear pairs. Example five, find angle measures in a linear pair. Two angles form a linear pair. The measure of one angle is five times the measure of the other. Find the measure of each angle. Okay, they're trying to confuse you. Okay, the measure of one angle is five times the measure of the other. Whatever, let's look at our drawing. I have a line, this angle, and this angle. You know that a line is 180 degrees, and I get 5x plus x. Algebra, collect like terms. You have x equals 30. 
So find the measure of each angle. Okay, you just substitute. I have 5 times 30 equals 150. That's that angle. And this angle is just plain old 30. So I have one answer, another answer, and I keep forgetting to write the degrees. Next. Okay, you try. I'm going to push pause um, right now, finish the problem, and then push play. Okay, the first question. Do any of the numbered angles in the diagram below form a linear pair? There are no linear pairs because no adjacent angles have opposite rays for non-common sides. Okay, no adjacent angles. So if you just look at 1 and 6, um, the non-common sides do not form opposite rays. Okay, but which angles are vertical angles? I have three pairs. Okay, 3 and 6, 1 and 4, and 2 and 5. These pairs of angles have sides that form two pairs of opposite rays. Another you try. The measure of an angle is twice the measure of its complement. Find the measure of each angle. Complement is how many degrees? 90. Okay, here's the complement. Complementary, so I need two angles next to each other. The measure of one angle is twice the measure of the other. Oops. Okay, so find the measure of each angle. I need to solve for x first. So 2x plus x equals how many degrees? 90. 3x equals 90 x equals 30. So this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 2 times that, or 60 degrees. There are your two answers. Your daily homework quiz. Um, I'll go ahead and do them after I push pause, but we're going to work on them in class tomorrow. So this is what we're going to start the day with tomorrow. Good job today, guys. One more page. Actually, two more pages. Okay, I'm going to push pause again. There you go. Last one. Is it possible to draw a figure that can't, contains exactly one pair of vertical angles? Explain. There you go. I'm going to save it.